Okay, so this is the tank, and the first thing we need to do is have the substrate. Now, the substrate you'll see me using is actually recycled uh, from a previous tank I had, so it's actually got lots of beneficial bacteria in already, which is great. It's always a good to start with something like that if you can. If you can recycle uh, substrate, it's always best. Now we just want to flatten the substrate out a bit using this tool, flattening tool, as you can see. I'm saying, as you can see a lot, don't I? I'm just stop doing that. Right. So I want to keep it clear at the front because the decorative sand that I will be placing in looks better. It gives a cleaner look when you just divide it slightly. Um, sometimes it's easy to use your hands, but bank it all up at the back. She just gives you a better perspective on the front when you've got more height at the rear of the tank. Yeah, that's a good starting point. And basically, now that we've got this layer in there, it means any sort of rocks we place will actually stay put rather than you know, rolling around in the tank and just gives them a good anchor point, if you like. Right, so that's looking good, and the next job is to add in our stones. For the theme of the tank, I've gone with uh, Dragonstone, just because I think that it lends itself really well to what we're trying to achieve. It's the sharp angles, aggressive looking. Um, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to look the part in this this theme. I think I'm going to go for really aggressive outcrops, as you'll see. And that's the main hardscape in, and now it's just time to add some uh, decorative sand and more finer details. So this tank is going to be very stem plant dominated and because of that I'm actually going to fill the tank up at this stage. I, uh, I find it a lot easier to plant stem plants uh, when the water's already in. They just stand up straight and they actually go where you want them to be rather than planting them in with, with the tank dry and then all curling up and not looking good. And also you're going to see me place something, a bit of plastic down the bottom here to stop the uh, water get uh, disturbing the sand and just making a, a big mess. It's, it's a good tip, this, and it actually means that the tank looks pretty good with the filter on after about 30 minutes of filling it up. Okay guys, now we can add the filter. It's just a cheap Chinese one off eBay, it's, uh, but it does the job really well. 300, yeah, 300 litres per hour. Um, just goes on the side, it's nice and neat. It can be cleaned rather easily as well. Okay, now it's in place, you have to fill it up with water and then turn it on and it pulls up all the water through and continuously flows. And as an additional tip, if you do want to polish the water a little bit more, adding some of the filter floss just to this outlet section there, and that should polish the water for us. 
So what I've done here is I've actually, I'm saying actually, anyway, I've attached these red LEDs to a bit of Perspex just to give it that sort of red tinge, you know, a bit more fiery underneath. So it's the next day and I'm currently temperature acclimating the fish. Um, I wanted these fish for a long time and I finally got them. I think they'll suit this tank really well. So let's cut to some footage of them in the tank. 